Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Chung from the Chung Institute. Um, I decided today, uh, just off the cuff, uh, explain how to make a um, remedy at home that may be very useful for basically most acute viral infections. Now, um, so I have to tell you a story behind this before I show you a technique. There was a um, Russian uh, soldier um, who was a uh, homeopathic ho homeopath, and he uh, decided to try to protect the troops from illness. And what he did was he took, he told all the soldiers to take their water canteen and basically take their bayonets and scrape the inside of their cheeks, fill up their canteen with water. This time I'll just use regular water. Swirl it around and take the canteen and succuss it about 50 times and pour it out. And he did this and then just repeat the process. Okay. Now, uh, what it turns out just said historically is that this was during the uh, war when the Napoleon army tried to invade Russia. And uh, one of the things historically that occurred is that a lot of uh, Napoleon's army died in route and during the war, not from the war itself, but from illness. And uh, the Russian army, on the other hand, had far fewer illnesses and there's a good chance that that was a major factor in Russia's victory. We won't know that for certain, but that's that's what, how the legend goes. One of the things that occurred was that when they subsumed some of Napoleon's army, when they looked at the roots of the teeth, they were uh, in there were evidence of Bartonella infection, which is a tick-borne illness, and so um, there is some thinking that that's one of the things. Now Korsakov then became famous for this technique. The reason why is Hahnemann's homeopathy uses different vials to make the solution. So if you know anything about homeopathy, they would make one dilution, move it to the next, and then they would use another vial. Korsakov, on the other hand, used a single vial because they, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And so he decided to make the entire solution with one vial. Now, why I decided to tell you about this is because I've actually used Korsakoff's method when I'm at home or traveling and either myself or my family or friends develop an acute viral type of illness. We've actually done this technique and I've been quite amazed at times how quickly people recover, including myself as well. But I've seen <clears throat> individuals recover within 12, 24 hours, significant symptoms. Now, I don't know if this will help for the coronavirus, but I think that it would be a useful thing to have on hand because all you're doing is using water. So you know that it's 100% safe. It's one of these things where you can't possibly hurt yourself trying it. And uh, it is uh, something that I wanted to sh put online for at least all my patients and any of those of you who actually see this video to uh, try it. So now I'm actually gonna show you the, the technique a little bit more in detail. If you have um, developed symptoms of fever, runny nose, sore throat, coughing, you need to try to get a sample of that secretion. So if you have a, generally sore throats, I don't believe you need to get all the way down the back of your throat. The, what I have found is just taking any sort of sample from the mouth, such as, uh, what I do, this might be, I wouldn't recommend this, uh, maybe that uh, a spoon or something like that, a small spoon, and you just kind of scrape the inside lining of the, uh, the mouth, or you get a Q-tip, right, just a regular Q-tip, you won't have one of these probably, but a regular Q-tip, and swab the mouth. The other way is if you don't have any sort of oral symptoms and you're sneezing, then you're gonna wanna literally blow your nose onto, let's say a paper towel, and let's pretend you got some of that stuff on here. Not so much like this, but then you can take a Q-tip 
and just kind of swab the wet area. You only need a tiny bit and swirl it in your solution. That is what some people would call the mother initial solution. Now, in terms of how much water to use, <clears throat> I recommend uh, that you find a small jar, maybe about this size. If you can find a smaller one, that's fine too. And I would recommend, uh, just so that you can keep it even, you try to either use a magic marker, or in this case, this is a nice one because it's got lines on it. We're gonna fill it up to a particular line so that we just make the same, put the same amount of water each time. Okay, so this time we have just, let's say this much. You don't have to be ultra precise. You wanna do that. So let's say you've got your secretion, whether it's from the mouth, your nose, or you've coughed into it, you swirl it around, you close it tightly, and you succuss. Now, this is a little different than shaking, um, and I can't ex give you a reason for it. That's the way the original homeopaths developed it, and from my clinical practice, I've used this technique for other things. That's the way to do it. So that's one of the main reasons as reasons I want to make this video is what it means to succuss. You succuss it, basically take the solution and you pound it, and you count at least 30. Some people recommend 50. So we'll just count quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have at least 30 succussions. And then what you do is you pour it out. Now, what happens is water uh, will remain sticking on the surfaces of the jar. That's enough. You don't want to leave a whole lot of water and you don't want to shake the water up because then you'll take out too much. That amount is what you want. Then what I'd like you to do, my preference for sure, is to use either filtered water, even bottled water, even, even though I don't like plasticized water, for this case, it's okay. Just plastic water, water from plastic. I like to use that. I don't like tap water because it has chlorine in it. And then you're just gonna fill it up in this case, we conveniently have a line because this jar happens to have a line on it. And then you do the same thing. So now, the first one was called a mother solution. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is over 30 now. So now this is called a K1 dilution, Korsakov 1. So you're gonna do it again, pour it out. And then once more. So now this is K2, and I'm actually not gonna bore you with doing this all five times, all right? So what you do then is you repeat this and it, surprisingly, you know, you get distracted doing this because it's kind of boring. So you may, you may actually, the main thing you have to be careful about is remembering how many times you've done this. So the first solution is zero, K0 you could call it. Second one is K, K1 and you're gonna get up to the fifth dilution. So let's say we've repeated this process. And then what you do is you're going to um, take we haven't had these, but just find any eyedropper in the house. If you want to rinse it out, uh, a lot of them have rubber stoppers, if they're the, the glass ones. You can pull off the rubber stopper if you want to be like uh, compulsive about it, cleaning. You, just, you can, you can uh, put the glass one into the microwave for about 20 seconds, and it will basically neutralize anything that's there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna oh little you're gonna do um, literally one drop under the tongue, okay? So you, if you can come on over here, it's literally one drop, not one dropper full. It's one drop. That's it under the tongue, and you hold it for about thirty seconds. Now in homeopathy, it work, works best. If it is given um, half an hour before 
putting anything in your mouth or at least half an hour after. So that means other than water. So you will not, if you chew gum within the half hour, you have to wait. If you brush your teeth, if you drank some juice, whatever. If you drank water within the half hour, that's okay. But everything else, you want to be away from anything in your mouth that has any sort of flavor in it. And that works the best that way. Um, in terms of how often to do this, uh, it's about twice a day is all I find necessary. Um, let's see. That's about it. That's, it's very simple. The, thing, thing, the crazy thing about this technique is that um, it appears to work. Now, the very worst case scenario, if you were to argue that there's, this is all placebo, keep in mind, if you do nothing and you do placebo, placebo works better than nothing. So you might as well just go and try this. I also recommend online, you can check with our on, uh, website, uh, chunginstitute.com. Uh, and we have more detailed information to, to help you try to prevent uh, illnesses, flus, colds, and presumably the coronavirus. This should help. All right?